Hi guys, it's I'm Stuck and today we are learning about distant time graphs. So distant time graphs are very simple in fact and I'm going to show you how to interpret one which I'm showing you now. So where the straight line is at the start, that shows a steady speed. Then at 6 seconds you can see that th there is a straight line until 11 seconds. Now that shows that the person or the car has stopped. So say for a car for example it might be at traffic lights, for a person they might be at traffic lights again or they might have just stopped to um, visit a shop or something. Then when you see it going back the other way after 11 seconds, now that's not it, de that's not it's going backwards, that's actually just going the other way. So you, the person may, let's say this person was walking, they may have gone to a shop, stopped there for a bit and then gone back home the other way. Now I know that might not be completely true because they might not have stopped completely in a shop but that's, you can uh, say maybe that they would. All right, and where it goes back, that's simply them going back the other way home, or wherever they they're going back to. So that you can see as well that at around uh, 13 seconds, it gets less steep. Now that just shows that the person has de, um, de it has decelerated, and then it gets steeper again, which shows they have accelerated again. So a few things that are vital to know is that the gradient of the line is equal to speed. So if it's a really steep line, that means it's going extremely fast. However, if it's very uh, not steep at all, that means they're going quite slowly. Then if it's flat, that means they're stationary and they're not moving. And straight means a steady speed. So on this, at the start, they are going at a steady speed, but on the way back, it's not a steady speed anymore. So thank you for watching and please uh, see my website, the link's below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.